Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new Jeep Compass Facelift 2023 and in this video I will make the test drive and I will give you all the information about how it's on the road. Also keep in mind that this is the mild hybrid version and I will have a separate video full review where I show you everything about the car, interior, exterior, material quality, technical data everything about the car you will find out in the review because in this video it's all about driving also i will make a separate video where i test the consumption and i will give you the consumption in a separate video this is the key by the way very nice key that jeep use it also on other version quite simple key lock on lock we have keyless entrance and all that uh, cool technology also the car come here as you can see with brake discs on the rear and also ventilated brake discs on the front 18 inch rims that fit quite nice on the car but anyway let's go inside let's drive the car now once you go inside here you will see that also the quality it's really good also we have soft material on the doors we have those leather seats with side supports tough material in the middle manual adjustable seat normal pedal on this version and more about that you will find out in the review video i will leave the key right here even though you have plenty of space here uh, to leave your stuff almost everywhere and it has also a special space for the key you can see here in the middle it's quite nice i like it now let me put the seat belt press the brake and we will start the engine here is the start engine button it comes with a new ss technology guys cockpit digital cockpit and the new multimedia system from Stellantis group that it's incredible nice and we will talk about that also in the review video you can adjust the steering wheel manually up down left right depend how you want it also we will reset the consumption right now to see the average consumption in the end of the trip also information about the car you can get from here uh, everything it's quite warm we will drive the car a little bit I drive it before a little bit but we will drive slowly and we will see also the consumption in the end but more important i will give you more information about the car right now by the way if you're in switzerland around switzerland check out gallicar garage in mosedorf i will leave the link in the description because here they have a fabulous price this is a demo car you know like a uh, like a test drive car and you have already almost 8000 francs discount here so usually the price is 47900 francs but on this this car that you have here at Gallicar garage you can buy it with 39960 francs something that it's super super good price from my point of view this version come with a 1.5 liter petrol engine combined with a, a battery and a small electric motor it's a mild hybrid and i will explain you in a second and the total power 130 horsepower 240 newton meters um, you can do 0 to 100 in 10 seconds 193 kilometer per hour is the top speed of the car let's drive the car i will leave this super nice power flow graphic here also the car come with a 360 degrees camera incredible useful when you park the car and you can choose from here and it's just gorgeous um, i really like that and let's let's go and drive also by the way if you go left if i'm not wrong you can yeah you go left and you can see uh, you have here uh lighted up those minus and plus and if you go down and up you can change the gears manually if you want to but now let's drive in automatic because this is the automatic transmission seven speed dct automatic transmission combined with this uh, petrol engine and a lock electric motor the electric motor power 20 horsepower it's a front wheel drive system so both of them electric motor and the petrol engine will drive the front wheel of the car so that's something to keep in mind very important but i drive the car before and it reacts quite good also what i noticed in my first drive was that the engine it's is not that loud so you, you barely hear noise from the engine in the cabin and this is a good thing the sound insulation between them it's, it's great also by the way i start the climatic system right now we are riding on on third level let me put it on third on free and yeah visibility is quite good you have big mirrors blind spot technology in the mirrors and also jeep at the signature in the mirror i don't know if you can see it you have a jeep logo there on the middle of the mirror so you know what car you're driving also in the nighttime 
nice ambient light great visibility on the cockpit on the new digital cockpit on the multimedia it's really nice finally to see in a jeep um, everything digital from uh, digital cockpit and multimedia system and it's this kind of the same software uh, as Stellantis group use also on other cars and it's working really well um, this is the newest this one also the turning circle it's pretty good I notice even though it's a big car I notice that the steering can turn in in a uh, small spaces and i like that i will try to show you also in this video as we go a little bit later also it comes with autopilot kind of level from my point of view kind of level one level two because when you set it from here you can set it up very simple from the steering wheel so if you go down like that you are just good to go and the car will actually hold the speed for you but now I think it doesn't see the lanes right here pretty well but you can activate it from here and once it will see the lanes let me show you now just like that it will also activate the um, okay come on and then up here you set it up if you press set here you will set it up and then the car will uh, brake you can see right now it's brake for you it will accelerate when the car in front will start driving your car will start driving you can see right now and you can choose the distance between you and the car in front you can choose a lot of uh, a lot of settings you know like like uh, a proper autopilot the only thing that I notice on the autopilot is the fact that it's not super precise um, on the on complicated roads on the highway where the lanes are clear it's work really good but on the complicated roads and when it start to be bigger curves and stuff like that um, it it's start bouncing around a little bit so you have to pay attention on those systems but in general a very well built car it feels good to drive it great grip on the steering wheel it has leather steering wheel very very good grip and very good quality good visibility big uh, windows big mirrors nothing to complain also very comfortable on those seats position of driving it's good you have also this adjustable armrest so you can adjust it so you can rest your arm in terms of power I don't know I, I think it's okay it's enough if you're driving on the normal basis you know 130 horsepower for an for an SUV I, I was expect I, I will definitely go with something a little bit more powerful something bigger but if you want uh, an SUV that to be also economical you can see it right now I activate autopilot if you want an SUV to be also economical I think it's it's relatively fine if you drive most of the time on the normal roads you know like city driving and highway a little bit I think it's fine but I don't know I, I will definitely go with something a little bit more powerful because for example now if you want to pass by these cars We go uphill right now it's uphill that that's the perfect example we go uphill and you want to pass by a car it feels a little bit slower it's like 0 to 110 seconds I will definitely use a little bit more power maybe 150 horsepower will be more appropriate but it's just fine I tell you I mean you can you can live with it without any problem you can see right now we can set up again the autopilot on the highway it's working perfectly I, I didn't find any flaw on the highway so it's accelerate it's braking depend what the car in front will do and and it's working really fine it stays between the line at the lanes uh, really really good also let's go out here and then right here between the lanes right now you can activate it again very simple from here we have physical button on the steering wheel so you can activate it super super simple just like that also always have your hands on the steering wheel it will warn you anyway you can uh, 
leave it for more than 10 seconds because it will warn you have your hands on the steering wheel for the safety but what I told you before it works quite quite fine so on the highway it's more than perfect this this autopilot let me go outside here also when you brake right now the car will regenerate the energy back into the battery you can see right here and it has a quite small battery around one kilowatt hour but um, it will work pretty fine to lower your consumption and to save some energy back into the battery so every time you brake you regenerate the energy and we have kind of a a nice graphic there that shows you what happened with the energy and the battery and when the petrol engine will work so when it's green it's green when it's blue it means that the petrol engine will work out so now if you want to go out here and accelerate you can see the both of them work together to give you the the maximum speed and you can expect to be something incredible aggressive on this version but it's fine it's fine i tell you for for daily driving simple driving normal driving to work and home and it's more than enough we will see also the consumption in the end of the trip now the lane assist will worry me because it sees three lanes right here so uh, it's construction site it's a little bit confused as I told you on the complicated road it's confused but you can deactivate this noise from the menu also the car come with blind spot technology so you can see the lights in the corners of the mirror there so it warn you if a car it's left or right so in terms of safety features I think it's it's really good it's really good for this price it's it's more than good comfort quality wise it's great also the the engine is the same engine, the same transmission, the same system as the Lantis group use it on other cars. So it's a good one. I, I, I should say it's also quite reliable. It's not the best hybrid system, mild hybrid system on the market, but it's, it's between the best. It's, it's, it's up there also it's relatively smooth and, and I like that it's not so noisy and this is also um, relatively rule for all the Stellantis group cars that come out on this on this uh, version hybrid version the sound insulation is quite good from the engine in the cabin it's great and also you barely hear noise from outside and this is a good thing so the sound insulation on this Jeep Compass it's really good you see here they work and a lot of noise but you barely hear that noise so that's that's a good that's a very good thing you know so actually let me go here pretty fast It's easy to drive, it's, it's smooth. Um, you have this new multimedia now with a lot of information here that you can change. And it's, it's quite cool, I should say. Modern, much better than the previous version, the four facelift, by the way, that I al already review it on the channel, you can check it out. The brakes feel fine. They are smooth, they are nice, also the, the curves and the way it stays, the handlings are good. It's, it's a good setup also on the suspensions are not bad at all. So in general, they, they feel quite fine. Also climatic system work fine. <laughs> I have my, my hands cold right now, but I have to keep it on like this. I have to go on the right side now yeah we go right here um, it's really good the climatic system it's good I feel really cold inside here what another thing that I notice is that the transition between electric and petrol engine sometimes is not that good as you find it on Toyota cars 
or Honda cars, I don't know, there maybe they, they have to work a little bit more on on this smoothness, I should say. Oops, 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 something happened with the truck. Okay. But in general, it's it's fine. It's not something that it's not like a complaint. I'm saying more like a comparison between the other um, mild hybrid and hybrid systems. Also, right now it's kind of assist me because it's on the lane assist. It's on and, and it assist me even now when it's the autopilot not activated. So that's a safety cool safety feature. Over the bumps is great. It feels quite quite great over the bumps. Good visibility in the mirrors on the windshield. So also nothing to complain there. We have consumption until now like 6.8 liters. It's not bad. I can get even better, 100%. And if you change there, you can see also a lot of graphics with what happened with the energy. You can see other information. You can see also radio and media. And you can see also this autopilot information like what happened to autopilot, the speed. So you can customize also the screen there. It has a few customizable um, views, I should say, graphic, but it's not as complex as you find it on a Mercedes or a Volkswagen where it's a little bit more complex. But it's fine, it's a big step forward and let's don't let's keep in mind that that probably um, they will get the technology from Stellantis group Jeep and they will improve it all the time and they will make it better and better and I already see how good is this multimedia and uh, I already feel like I'm driving a nice modern car in the acceleration when you accelerate you feel a little bit of delay sometimes depend on the position of the car depend on on the speed of the car as well but sometimes you can feel a little bit of delay and this is kind of a general rule for many cars these days this delay I see this delay also on other expensive premium cars as well I think the plug-in hybrid will be a better buy from my point of view. It comes with more power and if you are able to charge it every day or three times a week, I think the plug-in hybrid will be a better buy. And if I will buy this Jeep Compass, I will definitely go with a... I, I want to go with a stronger engine a little bit more power that's what I will definitely want to have now we go downhill we should recuperate some energy we have 7.1 liter consumption until now so yeah most of the time the car will roll down seven liter now 6.9 6.8 
we have to slow down slowly 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 press the brake recuperate some energy uh, it's a little bit squeezy my my shoes with the pedal are a little bit squeezy yes by the way the car come also with a nice camera up here that can read the traffic speed limit and it's really cool because it tells you the speed and it has the latest technology so from this point of view you're it's it's just perfect you have 360 degrees camera look it, even over the bumps the car feels super smooth i'm not sure i didn't find this information i'm not sure what kind of suspension they use but i'm pretty sure on the front it's independent mcpherson but on the rear i'm not sure but i think it has also multi-link independent or something anyway they are really good over the bumps it, it feels good not as good as uh, citroen c4 c5x or c5 but they, they are good and we have 6.4 liter consumption okay I was expect that to be honest with climatic system on third level nah, it's not bad it's not bad really not bad on the curves it stay also good and as I said before also another information that I didn't find is the turning circle I find the ground clearance around 19.8 centimeters but I don't know I didn't find the 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 turning circle but what I notice you see I get this roundabout and I still have place for my steering I, I, I still have place that the car can steer you can see right now so the turning circle it's really good it's, it's brilliant I should say for the size of the car now if you go in reverse very simple press that button go in reverse and also in reverse it feels quite agile quite simple to drive another thing that I didn't activate you have to go into menu to activate those lines for parking but look how cool it is you have so many views here to park the car that's that's a great great thing really good and put it in park it's very simple it comes with auto hold electronic handbrake all that safety feature but if you you have to go to settings here i'm not sure if not control but here if you go to safe and driving it wasn't blind spot it was on the camera somewhere on the camera was an option where you can see that um, that lines camera here surround camera guidelines yes that's it and now if you go in reverse it should show you the lines you see much better now much more easy to, to to park it you see those lines active lines are wonderful so yeah that's another thing to keep in mind but anyway guys that was the video put it in park it's just simple as that the climatic system was running on ac at low level you can see on third level was until now and the consumption is 6.5 6.4 was before so yeah that was the test drive with this new jeep compass facelift 2023 um, i hope you get some useful information this is the mild hybrid probably i will test the plug-in hybrid if i get my hands on it but i want to test the powerful version to see if that gives you that nice strong feeling you know because i will definitely use a little bit more power but that was the video that was the test drive with you with this jeep compass if you want to see the full review i will have a separate video on my channel so probably it's already there if it's not already there click the subscribe button to see notification when that video will come out also there you find all the information about the car technical data material quality space multimedia we will talk about everything so check out that video don't miss it out my rating for this jeep compass taking the consideration the price i think around forty thousand new it's 47,000 I will definitely give it a 9.8 this is my rating for the car it's a great car with great improvements and yeah it's it's definitely worth taking into consideration if you want to buy it also if you are in Switzerland around Switzerland check out Gallicar garage in Mosedorf I will leave the link in the description if you want to check them out thank you for watching don't miss out the other videos stay safe 
don't forget to like share subscribe thank you to all of you that watching my video i see you soon in the next one bye guys